We're here, well, the reason we're talking with you a little bit today is a lot of watershed groups and river groups around the country have heard bits and pieces about what's going on in Wisconsin as it relates to phosphorus, uh, water quality criteria, and then the implementation of those, those rules um, to try to get at some of the real nutrient problems that are happening in Wisconsin as well as, again, all around the country. So we would like to talk to you a little bit today about what you all are doing to take the fact that you have these new rules in place um, to implement those rules and make sure they're successful tools in terms of protecting or restoring water quality in the state. So what is it that, what's your strategy or approach now that you have these rules in place and some, some criteria to protect the rivers to make sure that those are working on the ground? Yeah. Um, basically our stat strategy is to start small mm -hmm. on the ground with a handful of farmers in a small watershed and um, and see if we can't uh, get the, the right amount of information in their hands and in the, the other group that's sort of vital to this whole process, which is the point sources, to see if, if perhaps you know, this, this small handful of farmers that we might be working with uh, wouldn't actually come to some sort of agreements with a point source to do a trade or a, an agreement of some sort. Right. Um, that would get the point source credit for reducing phosphorus and make it more cheap in the long run to everybody because it's happening on agricultural lands rather than at the end of the pipe. Great. And what do you see your role or the role of your organization in terms of bringing those two, two entities together? Is it you know to reaching out to the farmers and reaching out to the point source, or kind of a broker? Is it education? How do you see you, your role fitting in there? Yeah, um, I, you know, a lot of our role is actually gonna happen behind the scenes mm -hmm. okay. in many respects. I mean, I think there, there are already people out there that are, um, for instance, the counties, mm -hmm. which play a vital role in terms of delivering um, conservation programs with agricultural landowners right, right now. Um, they are known by farmers um, in terms of delivering, um, you know, whether it be farm bill monies, mm -hmm. as it were, or, um, or the state's non-point program dollars to farmers in order to put practices in place. They're known, they're trusted by the farmers, and so they're sort of the obvious people to go to in order to work closely with the farmers. Um, and then on the other hand, um, well, both with the point sources and with the farmers, I mean, one of the things that we're hearing out there just by doing a lot of talking with folks is that now that there's this framework in place, um, uh, the phosphorus water quality standard um, for the state, as well as the options that are that are out there for the point source community trading, and what's uh, being referred to as adaptive management. Um, there's a lot of there's a framework in place, but there's a lot of information that they don't have in order to feel like they're in a position to act on it to, to use know, that. to use it to right. know exactly what would be best for them, what the opportunities are, and um, so I think uh, our position is again working on starting at a small scale is to try to get as much information as is useful to this whole process in the hands of the people who need it and sort of grease the skids a little bit and hopefully hopefully show some successes in terms of an agreement um, a trade made between a farmer and a point source and if we see one happen or a second one or a third one and maybe that's something that we can you know we can learn from that and we have a real case study to, to work off of then, and we can hopefully apply that to other locations, other farmers, other point sources, other situations around the state. Right. It's always scary to be the first, so if you can take the first example and have it be a good one and carry it around other places, yes. that can really help people feel comfortable moving mm -hmm. forward.